Hi! In this tutorial, I will show you how to use rigid bodies and physics support with the GPU instance or Unity asset. So this is the scene, as we left it off from the previous tutorial, where we use GPU instancer to instance prefabs at runtime. First off, let's go to the GPU instance or prefab manager and enable runtime modifications for each of the prefabs here. We don't want to add remove instances for this demo, but if we want it, this is the option we had to select. Next, we need to add rigid bodies on these prefabs that we're instancing here. A mess of one is fine, and let's give them some substantial drag and angle drag. We don't want to use gravity on them since we don't want them falling down. And that's it. Notice that once I added the rigid bodies to these prefabs, GPU Instancer automatically detected this and enabled another option for us. This option allows the rigid body component to start when the game starts. We won't be enabling this for these prefabs, but this is an option. Next, I will add a new game object under the spacesuit we have here. And I will call this the instancing sphere. As the name suggests, this will be used to the instance and reinstance objects when they enter inside this collider. So we need a collider here. Let's add a sphere collider. And let's give some radius. To this collider and make it trigger. So this is how it works. When the objects that we insta instantiate and instance at runtime enter this collider, they will be de-instanced. Their instancing will be turned off. And GPU instancer will add their rigid body components back on them and use physics on them. Now we have rigid bodies on these prefabs, but these rigid bodies will be removed automatically when the game starts and these prefabs are instantiated all around. This is for performance purposes. Uh, Unity will run very slow if the rigid body component was always on this. So the deinstancing sphere also needs a component from GPU instancer, which is called the GPU instance modification collider. This component wants a reference to the prefab manager that we have in the scene. I'll just pass it as a reference. This actually is all I have to do to enable physics for the asteroids we want to generate at runtime. Let's go back to the generator. Let's not wait too long for the instances to be generated. And let's run the game. So now, when Unity starts the game, the spaceship will have a collider on it that enables rigid bodies on the asteroids that it is close to. And when I'm bumping on these asteroids, they will act normally as you would expect from an object with physics. GP instancer disables the rigid bodies of these components once they stop. So we can actually see this with a component that we have in GP instancer, which is called the GUI info. The GUI info, which could be very small to see here, shows me the amount of prototypes that I have uh, that is registered with GP instancer here, which is three at the moment. A total prefab instance count, which is 50,000 at this point. And when I get close to the objects here, it starts showing me the amount of instances that are disabled from GPU instancing. So if you can see the number here, we have a diminishing number, which is 
going down as the rigid bodies are turning off. So everything is back on instancing again. This completes the tutorials on how to use GPU instancer with prefabs at this time. Thank you for watching.